the cost of living has gone up and everything is so expensive like the bread the meal has gone up at least by 30 percent it's hard when you've got a family of four I will not be using my gas cooker in the winter um, just to the fact that my gas is going to be a lot more expensive this year and I'm not sure if I'll be able to afford it. It'll just be easy food that doesn't take up too much gas and electric. You have to wrap up in the house, wear extra clothing in the winter instead of putting on the heating. I do try and work full time but I still, I still seem to struggle. We're just struggling to even get people into the doors of the a &E, and we're having to treat them in the back of the ambulance. And some of these time critical illnesses, like strokes and heart attacks, are just simply not being seen in time. Because of these delays at hospital, we're sitting here unable to answer the 999 calls that are coming in. I've personally witnessed deaths where we have been to someone who might have called for chest pain and 12, 15 hours later we've turned up to the house and this person is deceased. We're in the middle of the biggest staffing crisis the NHS has ever seen in its history. On top of that, this government has no credible plan to actually fix these problems. This is Victorian technology. This is 150 years old. What we're experiencing in this country is a lack of investment in our infrastructure, which means these are being used on a constant, regular basis. This happens across the country. You're surfing with uh, all of the things that come out of people's toilets. You know, you've got sanitary towels, you've got the paper and everything else that goes in with it. Uh, and, and also, you know, feces as well. Thank you. 